Psalm 102. And I am gospel tired serving the Lord. Had a great day preaching at the, or teaching at the park. Psalms 102. A prayer of the afflicted. And we're looking at the tribulation to the coming of Jesus. When he, he is overwhelmed. Perfect description of tribulation. And pours out his complaint. Ought not to complain before the Lord. Some Bibles don't have, I don't know what they're called, but there's markings in Psalms. And they're very important. I don't know if they're inspired. But this Psalm is taking us into the tribulation period where the church won't go. The church will be raptured before the tribulation. But the Jews are going to read the scriptures and especially the Old Testament are going to see when they are living. Hear my prayer. And they're going to pray. <coughs> and let my cry come unto thee. They're going to cry. Hide not my face from me in the day. In the day. In the day. Day of Jacob's trouble. Hide thy face. God hid his face from Jesus in the day that he died on that cross. He said, my God, my God. Why hast thou forsaken me? And the Jews went forth and started killing the apostles and Christians. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. When? When I am in trouble. It's called the time of Jacob's trouble. Incline thy ear. God unto me in the day when I call answer me speedily now the tribulation period is spelt out seven years and three and a half years is going to be the great tribulation for my days are consumed like smoke and my bones are burned as at heart. Eat. Read the book of Revelation. There's a time of the tribulation, there's not even a breeze. Burning. My heart is smitten. And withered like grass, not a healthy heart. So I forget to eat my bread. Forgot to eat? Give us our daily bread. The Lord's Prayer, they call it. It's not the Lord's Prayer, it's the Tribulation Prayer. I mean, no man might buy or sell unless he received the mark. There'll be nations that are going to help the Jews with food. But they're not going to advertise Jewish pantry here. And they're going to get bread, and sometimes they're going to forget to eat it. Man out in the wilderness, where God smites the devil's head and it rains that manna. By reason of the voice of my groaning, agony, agony, terrified, fear, distraught, my bones cleave to my skin 
and then count their ribs. They're not eating properly. They're not drinking properly. One of the things you can find in these pictures, if you find pictures of the Jews in the concentration camps in World War II. You can find these pictures in realms of, of the world where there's hunger and famine. And yet my God, or their God, I should say, not my God, their God, cows are walking around. They're wasting away in agony. Their flesh is being consumed. I am like a pelican in the wilderness. I am like an owl in the desert. I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. Solitaire, loneliness, out of place. Notice wilderness, notice desert. I prepared a place for you. Israel's going back in the wilderness. Alone. Jesus, are not two sparrows sold for? My enemy, all the nations will be enemies to the Jewish people in the tribulation. A few of the sheep nations will come out. Many of the nations will be against the Jew. Reproach me all the day long. To the Antichrist, the Jew will be public enemy number one. He'll let Barabbas go, but he won't let the Jews go. And they that are mad against me have sworn against me. They'll blame the Jews as Adolf Hitler blamed the Jews. Adolf Hitler blamed the Jews for their recession and their problems. The Jews were the rich ones of the whole world. And they'll make oath, like the oath that Ahab put out against Elijah. I, I swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, I'll tell you where the Jews are. For I have eaten ashes like bread. That's not a particular diet. Burnt up ashes, whatever it was burned, wood or and mingled my drink with weeping. There'll be no, there'll be no joy and gladness. There'll be Jacob's trouble, sorrow, pain, suffering, loneliness. Because of thy indignation, God's indignation. An extreme anger, Jacob's trouble. And thy wrath. For thou hast lifted me up. Nation of Israel is up on high. There would be the city on the hill on the light. It will be cast down. Be cast down. My days are like a shadow that declines, a sundial. And I am withered like grass. Crumble up and die. And they don't have a ceremony for the grass that dies. But thou, O Lord, shall endure forever. Whatever happens to us, we die. God is eternal. 
and thy remembrance unto all generations. There'll be people in New Jerusalem, there'll be people in New Heavens and New Earth, and they'll always remember God. And those probably in hell in the lake of fire probably may somehow remember God. Thou shalt arise. Uh oh. And have mercy on Zion, New Jerusalem. I mean Jerusalem. Guess what? It's where we are now. For the time of favor, for the time to favor her, Zion, yea, the set time is come. I wonder what it represents is to. Behold, I come shortly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. I know your scripture. The second coming. For thy servant, take pleasure in her stone, Zion, and favor the dust thereof. When Jesus Christ comes, he'll come right into Zion, Jerusalem, and take David's throne. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth thy glory. King of kings, Lord of lords. All the kings of the earth, that would be the Christian. He has made us to be king. And we'll have one king over us. And Pilate said, the king of the Jews. That's millennium. So there's Jewish people, there's the heathen, and there are kings, Christians. When the Lord shall build up Zion, it will be torn down, earthquake, antichrist, he shall appear in his glory. Second advent. Zion will be treaded down. He will regard the prayer of the destitute, the Jews. They'll be in that place prepared of God to pray. And not despise their prayer. This shall be written for the generation to come. What? This song. And the people which shall be created, people that hasn't been yet, that are, that are future people born, shall praise the Lord. For he, God, has looked down from the height of his sanctuary, heaven. From heaven did the Lord behold the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoner. And I was in prison and you visited me. Jeremiah was a prisoner. The apostles were a prisoner. To loose those that are appointed to death. Peter. Peter was asleep and he was bound to be killed. Also for the Jews. To declare the name of the Lord in Zion. And his praise in Jerusalem. That's millennia. Then the people are gathered together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord millennium.
He weakened my strength in the way. He shortened my day. Except those days be short, the very elect. The nation of Israel is going to be brought down to weakness. I said, oh my God. Take me not away in the midst of my day. Thy years are throughout all generations. And there's coming a time in the tribulation period they're going to seek death and they're not going to find it. He's talking about the entire nation of Israel. Lord, don't kill us. Don't make an end for us. Of old hast thou laid the foundation of the earth, Genesis 1. And the heavens are the work of thy hands, Genesis 1. They shall perish, Peter said, but thou endure. New heavens, new earth, new Jerusalem. Mother of nature is gone bye bye. Mother earth is gone to low feet, folk. Fervent heat. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment. The earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, the whale, the universe. As a vesture shalt thou change them. The Bible says, Behold, I make all things new. You know, we're going to have a universe coming. The Bible says, The light of New Jerusalem is of the Lord. There's no need for the sun. There's no need for the moon. There's no dark. We're going to have a universe that's going to be all light. And not one dark spot. There's no darkness in New Jerusalem. The new heaven and the new earth. The one that causes darkness is going to be cast into the lake of fire. But thou art the same. And thy years shall have no end. God's eternal. And the children of thy servants shall continue. And their seed shall establish before thee. Now the seed of the children of Israel. They have babies. They grow up and they have babies. For the Christian. Those that go out and win souls. And produce other seed and produce other fruit to the glory of God. And to the Christians that don't produce any fruit, woe be to you. Other things are more important than God, I guess.